welcome to Georgia, the country. We got in yesterday and we ended up running errands all day and we just were kind of blown away by how cheap everything was. I got a haircut for about five bucks. We ate a fantastic, authentic Georgian meal. We had the little bread thing with uh, cheese and egg and we also had a glass of wine, fried chicken and mashed potatoes, a vegetable starter of six balls of minced vegetables put together with walnut paste and a water and the whole thing was like $30. So that got us thinking and it gave us the inspiration for the video today. So Georgia is actually known for being very digital nomad friendly. So a lot of people come here because there is a year long visa, which is very beneficial for those moving around the globe and wanting to work and live somewhere else. But it's also known for being one of the most inexpensive countries in the world. So our goal today is to try to spend 100 US dollars and we're gonna see how far we get. So I'm gonna put the total right here and then we're gonna go and try to eat out, do some touristy things, get some souvenirs and see if Georgia is as inexpensive as they say. So far we've been traveling the world for about a year and we've realized that Western food is some of the most expensive you can get. That's why we wanted to test some out this morning to see if it's actually cheaper here than it would be in other parts of the world. So we're going to a bakery called Paul, which you've probably heard of and seen. So that breakfast was roughly 26 USD. So I would say it's actually cheaper than the average Western breakfast we've seen on this trip. Uh, doesn't mean it was that good though. It was okay. Time to move on though. To this dog. <laughs> would you like to come home? Look at those pretty paws. Yeah. So quite out of breath at the moment. I've done a decent amount of stairs if you can't tell by the view behind me. I mapped us to the cable car here in Tbilisi, but I think I mapped us to the top of the cable car. So as Bree puts it, I think we're doing the free route today. So Yo, but it's free. <laughs> yeah. So that's your top tip on how to save money. <laughs> but maybe we'll take it down just to give you guys an idea of the price. So we officially made it up. So technically the first half of our journey was completely free. And honestly, the walk was a little warm, but it wasn't that bad. So now we're gonna probably try to jump on the cable car. One way, please. Thank you. So that ride only cost us 250 lari each. However, we did have to buy a Metro card as well. So to use any sort of public transportation in Tbilisi, they make you buy a little plastic Metro card, much like all the other Metro cards you find elsewhere in the world. And that cost two lari as well. So total cost seven lari. And after coming down, we're actually really happy. We only took it one way because the line was getting decently long. So the walk was not that bad. I would recommend doing that over waiting in line. And at the bottom, we were greeted with a very interesting eclectic grouping of tourist attractions. There was like a, a butterfly exhibit and a wax museum and a hall of mirrors. So whatever you want to do here, they got you covered. <laughs> We actually don't even know what this building is, but it basically looks like a big glass worm. Very dramatic. 
feel remiss to not tell you about some of the other costs that we incurred but weren't part of this video today. When we arrived, we bought a SIM card, which we do in every single country. It helps us stay connected and navigate maps and also book taxis. So when you get out of arrivals, there'll be a bunch of stands saying free SIM card. And what they really mean is the SIM card itself, a little piece of plastic is free, but you have to pay for the data plan. Whatever, no big deal, because four gigs of data for each of us was three US dollars each. It was dirt cheap. And once we had that data, we were able to use the Bolt taxi app to get us a taxi into the city. One thing you'll notice is that you'll immediately get swarmed by taxi drivers upon exiting, and they will tell you that there are fixed prices depending on what zone you go to the city. So it's like zone two, 40, zone one, 60, something like that. We ended up paying only 20 lari through Bolt. So it's much, much cheaper. Definitely get the SIM card, get Bolt. It'll save you a lot of money. buy our first and only souvenir from Georgia. Souvenir purchased, if you don't know this already, we collect stamps from everywhere we go and these cost us eight lari, so four lari each. Just one. Just one. take a quick break from the sun because it's really hot walking around out there but we picked up these in the meantime we're gonna butcher the name of these and I'm very sorry this is clappy to clappy to clappy we're not saying that right we know that it's basically a fruit roll-up but it's not made of chemicals like they are in the states it's fruit genuine fruit we got grape yeah literally pureed and then pounded flat and rolled into these not rolled but folded it's uh it almost feels like plastic it's that kind of oh, just a little bit thicker kind of grainy from where the like seeds and bits of the fruit are it's not as good as fruit roll up in the states with chemicals i was gonna say it's obviously <laughs> missing a lot of like the added sugar but but it's really good very light it's definitely much healthier it's sweet though still you know even though it's missing sugar it's still pretty sweet Next up, and this is something that we actually missed out in Armenia. They have a very similar thing. Here it's called, I don't want to butcher this, Churchkeli, Churcheli. You assume it's a very guttural sound. And it's basically walnuts. And they take a fruit and they basically kind of drip the concentrate over this a bunch of times and let it dry. And then it forms this layer. We went with raspberry. Traditionally, it's, I think, grape is more common. But they have tons of different flavors, either walnuts or hazelnut. And this is it. And it's on a string. So, you know, in Armenia, they call it Armenian Snickers. Here it's the name I can't pronounce. I will say it's odd. It tastes like wax. Yeah. You definitely get a waxy consistency because, I mean, that's basically what the fruit is. It's bitter. Yeah. Do you taste that? Yeah. It doesn't taste like raspberry at all. Yeah, and the crunchiness of the walnuts is, uh, it's just a very odd texture, like wax with walnuts. Well, it was only eight lari, but I'm glad we tried them. Siesta over. It's time to go to dinner. By the way, if anybody's curious about the political situation here right now, that should explain it. Yep. Yep. So this is Chasha, or basically their national liquor, and it's essentially a brandy. First time trying it, I went with lemon. Oh man. <laughs> it's very intense. It's like a uh, grappa or like a, a flavored brandy. Burns. This is kinkali or a Georgian soup dumpling. The key is to hold it by this doughy top knot and then bite a hole and suck the soup out. It's beautiful. Stuffed with a meat and vegetable inside, it's fantastic. Okay, so we got ketchup curry again today, but it's a little bit different version because it's like a baguette and the cheese is inside instead of like the open cheese with the egg yolk. It's really rich. There's so much cheese in here. But I, I actually think I like the one with the open cheese more with the egg yolk. The egg yolk just gives it a little more something. But it's really good. So this is chicken cooked in milk and garlic and sometimes honey to make it a little bit sweeter. This was the one I was most excited for because if you watch the Anthony Bourdain 
episode where he came to Georgia. He tried this and he loved it and it looked incredible. It's like chicken alfredo. It's amazing. The sauce is beautiful and savory but sweet at the same time. Oh. Yes. Okay, that dinner was absolutely amazing. And just to reiterate what we got, we got two bottles of water, one shot of cha-cha, one glass of wine, and basically three different entrees to try them all. And in total, it was 90.85 gel, which is $34 USD. It is so cheap. And the quality of the food was incredible. And on top of that, we decided to stop by a pharmacy just because we had room left in the budget. And I decided to get some clindamycin, which you can only get over the counter in certain parts of the world, and Georgia happens to be one of them. So fun fact about Georgia, as long as you're not trying to get medications that kind of alter your mind, you can get pretty much anything over the counter here. So I decided to get acne medication. This is called clindamycin, and it was $11 USD. So cheap. So in total, we spent 211.05 Georgian Lari, which equates to $81.01 USD. And believe it or not, we actually tried to spend more, but we ran out of things that we actively wanted to buy. We really hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually a fun one for us to make because we weren't sure whether or not we were going to be able to spend $100 or if it was vastly underestimating how much inflation might have impacted this part of the world. So don't forget to like and subscribe and be notified of our next video where we're going to go round out our time in the Caucasus with a trip to Baku, Azerbaijan, where I don't think $100 is going to go as far, but I've been surprised before. Mm -hmm.